What's up, everybody? And welcome to another episode. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share the video. Hit the join button and become a member. Why? Well, members get exclusive content. Hit the bell icon on my channel so that you will receive a notification every time I drop a video. You can go check it out, leave a comment, and like the video if you support my channel. Let's get back into it, man. Part two. I'm sick of addressing these commenters, and I will not continue to address uh, you people who leave these frivolous comments. But I'm going to address these, these two comments real quick. Because one dude asks, pertaining to the last video, this is part two, so pertaining to part one, how come I just didn't give it to the dude, the ounce of weed, when he asked me? Another dude commented and said, so because he asked you aggressive, you, you decided not to give it to him even though you said you was going to give it to him, bro. That's some female shit. No, you the female. And we needed you on the yard. So let me get this right. If I come to you and I'm aggressive and I tell you, man, give me that ounce you said you're going to give me, even though you didn't never said it, you had never said that you were going to give me one, you're going to give me one anyway? Man, I needed you on the yard. We all need, the homies need you on the yard right now. The hell? Uh, let me explain. I explained yesterday how come I did not give it to the dude when he first asked. First of all, I'm not giving him a house. That was never a part of the deal. But whatever I was going to give him, for you people in the back that used to wear helmets, and I'm not talking about football helmets, let me say it again. When you're dealing that sort of thing in there, dealing dealing with drugs inside a prison, just like on the street, it's a business. I'm in High Desert State Prison. My ex-girlfriend used to drive 12 to 14 hours to get there. That's a lot of gas. That costs money. You have to get a motel room. You can't just drive up there and then drive right back. She's staying the whole weekend. Once you come drive all that way for a visit, you're going to stay the whole weekend for the visits. They have visiting Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at this time in High Desert. Friday evening. Visiting was over at 8.30 at night in High Desert. 180. Crazy. Because a lot of prisons don't have visiting on Fridays, particularly at nighttime. But High Desert did. So she would come up there and get a room Friday, Saturday, and then check out Sunday after the visit and go back. So you had to get a motel room. $150, $200 a night, gas up there, food, driving up there for 12 hours and 12 hours back. She was bringing her daughter. You know, this stuff costs money. The drugs itself obviously cost money. So what I used to do when I first would get my sack is, as I said yesterday in the video, I was depriving myself. I didn't even, I, I wasn't even smoking any of the marijuana. I wanted to smoke it and have a ball and have fun too. But my first priority was to make my money back, to get the money to my to my ex so to, to ensure that she can get back up there with another sack. I got to keep this thing going. So I got to take care of business first. Once I take care of the business, then I can look out for everybody and smoke and have a ball once I make my money back. He coming up to me two hours after I hit the damn visionary talking about what's up with this ounce. I ain't made no money yet. This ain't no game. You know what I'm saying? And as I said, I don't owe you a damn thing. So I hope that explains it to you weaklings, the people who would have handed over the house. Anyway, where were you when I needed you? <laughs> oh, my God. So let's get back into part two. Now, when we went and hollered at the Long Beach car, I left off by saying that I didn't really like the response. Well, the response was okay. They, again, offered to take care of the dude themselves. They did say that they'd take care of it themselves. I just didn't like that because I felt like they were probably going to try to take it easy on him and felt like they want to take care of themselves, feeling like I may not take it easy on him, and they had really taken a liking to the dude. Now, had he been from Long Beach, then I would have pretty much had to let them take care of take care of it themselves, or just go up. But since they said that they didn't have his back, he's he, you know he's not one of them, and I, I, it was personal for me. It was personal to me, and so I wanted to take care of this myself. 
But it was one dude there from Long Beach who said, and this is the reason why I said I wasn't sure about the response, because he said, well, what did he do, bro? What did he do wrong? You know, just because he asked you for something that you said you was going to give him. So I, I patiently explained to him for the last time, man, listen, it's the way that he, he came at me with all of this hubris, all of this bravado. And I'm not going to stand for that from anyone. Everyone who talks to me is going to have to watch their tone. I, I, I told him that I'm, I'm sending him a message because I'm strapped down and so is my crew. And they ready to go up. And I know this. And so am I. So any little inkling that you oppose to what we bring to the table, it's just about to go up, bro. But now I'm hesitant to go up to the Long Beach car. This is why I want to come and talk to them to begin with because I do have respect for them. I used to mess with a gang of their homeboys from Insane. You know what I'm saying? We connected with the Insane. It used to be Hussein, bro. So... It's not necessarily a good look for us to be attacking the insane with knives, uh, uh, over, particularly over some dude from Tennessee. It just wasn't going to happen. That's why I wouldn't talk to them. But when dude is asking me these questions about how come I'm so upset about it, but then once I explained it to him, he said, okay, I understand that, bro. My bad. I, I get that then, you know, because I ain't going to uh, uh, allow anyone to loud mouth me or bad mouth me either. Exactly, and that's what the problem was. But now, when we went back over there to the grass on the yard, me and my comrades, to go over this. Well, one of them, he said, man, I say we crashed the whole car, bro. Because why is dude even asking you, well, how come you so upset? He, You already explained to him why you so upset. They still acting like they kind of got this dude back, bro. But the rest of the homies agreed that no, they offered to take care of the dude them, themselves. We rock with them, and so in order for us to go with, with an ally, with someone that we rock with, it has to be a very dire, very serious situation, bro. Uh, other than that, no. We talking about using weapons as well? No. So the call was made to stand down as far as the Long Beach car was concerned, particularly as it related to this guy from fucking Tennessee. He just didn't understand. Now, the, when I say that he was trying to show off in front of the Long Beach car. It's not that the Long Beach car had emboldened him. He took that upon himself. He walked over there to holler at me. It's just that they were a few feet away. He knew this. And by this, he was emboldened. It, they didn't tell him, man, go holler at that dude and press him for an ounce. They know better than that, bro. They, everybody on the yard knew who I am. It ain't happening. It's going to go up right then and there, immediately. And I'm trying to I'm 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 trying to take your freaking head off. You know what I'm saying? Come talk to me like that. It's not happening. So that's not what happened. That's this dude not understanding. He's thinking, I'm, I'm out here, I'm in California. This is his first time in prison. He was a young dude, like 24, I believe he was. But he's thinking, I'm sure, that I had the Long Beach car behind me. They pretty, you know, they pretty thick on the yard because it's, it's all the Long Beaches together. Whichever click out there in Long Beach, you know, they all together. On, on the yard. So they pretty thick. So he think that they crept. I got Long Beach behind me. Yeah, you know, he, he been listening to the Snoop Dogg. He ain't understand that I'm from Hoover. You know what I'm saying? And so your car may be, th man, you, you ain't understand it, boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm really from somewhere. My homeboys is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Including the ones that's right here on the yard. You feel me? And I ain't all there either. Let me show you. So, the decision was made that I would just resolve my issue that I had with this particular character and leave it as such. There at Yard Recall then, there are ways to get inside of the building at Yard Recall on a level four, 180. They typically call one section at a time. They'll say, a block or, or A section or C section from five building and C section from, from, from eight building come in. And then they go B section because the sections are separated by a door on the 180. So he was in C section because I was in C section with him when we were in the cell together. 
I know exactly where he's at. I just left this building. I, I moved to the cell with the homie by now, but I just left this building. I know who the police is in the tower. I know everything that's going on. Do a Snoop from 60s and Spy from 60s, they pretty much ran the building. It was pretty much running the yard for the Crips. Although a lot of stuff ended up coming out about Snoop that wasn't favorable. I don't know. All kind of stuff in the, all kind, all, all kind of stuff was said, but at this time, they were pretty much running the yard for the Crips, for, especially of course the neighborhoods. So they were right there in the building, and I let them know what was going on. Man, I need, I need to get in the building, take care of something with this dude. Y'all get me out because they had juice. You know what I'm saying? So particularly Snoop. And me and Snoop, we were, we, we were straight. We were cool. So I hollered at him, and I let him know. He said, okay, bro, take care of your business. Go in there, you know. Uh, when you plan, I said, I'm going in there right now. Y'all recall. I'm just going to go in there, do what I got to do, and I'm going to come up out the cell, and you make sure this dude in the tower, I think his name was Turtle, uh, that he popped the dough, and uh, everybody called him Turtle, that, that he popped the dough and let me out so I could go run, run, run back into my building. He said, all right, bet. So they called C-Sex. Five block. And dude, he went up in there. And a couple of Long Beaches, they right in a section with him too. So the homies, they wanted to come in there with me at first to make sure everything was straight. But I told him, man, everything good. The Long Beaches said it's good. I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna go in there and handle it. So I, when they caught, I went in there. I ran up the stairs. He was upstairs. I ran up the stairs. And when he opened his door, I ran in there right behind him and closed the door. And he turned around, he said, what's up, bro? Well, but at this time, the talking is over. Once I come in and sell on you, that's because we couldn't talk it out. We could not resolve it verbally. So now it's, it's, it, it's done turned into something else. It has escalated and the time for talking is over. So I have nothing to say. So when he turned around, and he started talking about whatever he talking about. Hey, you know, well, the big fella, as he sometimes known to do, pulled out a tool and swung it at the dude. Now, the first time the big fella, being a big guy, uh, and the dude being so slim and small, he was able to dodge it. But then the big fella got smart and got up on him and pushed him down on the bed and just swung that tool at him two more times, wasn't trying to unalive the guy, just trying to let him know that you're barking up the wrong tree and you're talking to someone who's really about that life and you're not. And so he got poked twice in the arm and on the side of his left chest. And then a big fella ran up out the cell, got up out of there and made it back to his cell safe and sound. And then the dude was never seen again. He was off the yard, never saw the guy again, never saw old Tennessee Titan again for playing these type of games. Talking about an ounce. Well, if he, apparently had he been talking to a couple of these commenters, he would have got his ounce. Probably would have got two or three of them. Shameful. But from the big fella, he had nothing coming but a tool for the disrespect that, that he displayed. And that was the end of that. Hope everyone can understand that. If you can't, I can dig it. Coming up. <laughs> well, we're going to get into it. Everyone's asking, though, you know, people know about Tiny Goofy and Porky. People are already in the comments saying, oh, yeah, man, I was there with Bullet, D-Monk, Tiny uh, 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 Porky, Goofy, Fat Chops. They're talking about different incidents, though. They, they broke up an incident that happened with Milk saying, oh, oh I was there with this. When I, I did the Hoover on Hoover attack. Everyone started talking about, oh, yeah, I remember when Milk got hit and yeah. I ain't said nothing about me. That's a, a totally different incident. I, I know what happened with that incident with Milk. 
when the white boys attacked them. And the Hoovers responded against the white boys and caught cases over the shit because it was vicious. I'm going to have to get into it. I'm sure Milk told the story on his channel at some point, but I'm going to get into it myself. And I'll get to Porky and Goofy. I'm not sure if, I, if I'm going to get to that next or not, but it's coming up. In the meantime, subscribe to my show. Thank you, everyone, for their support. And stay free, people. Hope y'all wouldn't have gave me a damn ounce.